from here. I, I never want to say um, bad things about companies, but if the company is already leaving. <laughs> For the non-Ugandans that are watching this video, uh, at the beginning of every year here, we usually have national prayers. At the end of the prayers, our religious leaders usually get doves and throw them up in the air yeah, to signify that the year has gotten off to a flying start. This is what happened this year. That's when I knew it was time to fasten our seat belts. It's been a very tough season. It's been very tough for companies. I, 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 companies are doing anything to stay afloat. Some are laying off employees. Yeah. And they're getting any, any reason to lay off. I mean, before, you would abuse the MD. Yeah, and they'd be like, ah, that was out of line. You're getting suspension, two weeks, unpaid. And this shall serve as an example. But now, <laughs> you just come late. What have you done? Anything to keep the lights on. I mean, it's a itinerary bank. <laughs> charging customers to know their balance. The <laughs> moment I had it, I thought about a scenario where you go to the bank, you ask the tailor to tell you how much money is in your bank, she looks. She's like, you can't afford that information. So companies are inventing more and more ways to stay open, and those that couldn't find a way are now leaving. Right. You think that... Of course, people think it's, it's all COVID, but if there's any company that is leaving just because their tax holiday is over, may thunder strike you. Notable of the companies leaving, I'll start with AfriCell. <coughs> These guys introduced us to fast internet, cheap data. Uh, but you know how in a relationship, when people break up, visually people say, ah, it's the guy that left, or it's the girl that left. <laughs> but for the relationship between us and AfriCell, it's the relationship that left. Let me tell you how that happens. You know how a couple can be talking and the guy is like, ah, Carol, I think we're better off as just friends. Then Carol responds, I have been thinking the same thing. That was our relationship with Africa. <laughs> I'm talking relationships. You would meet a girl, ask for her number, the moment you start hearing 079, you start wondering why the relationship is already failing. Africa had a chance to survive if they had cut costs further. I mean, for example, their customers didn't need billboards. They should have just called meetings at UMA. Even then, their biggest customers were their employees. A, a commercial felt like preaching to the choir. I mean, like DSTV. They have a channel on DSTV that advertises DSTV to people that already have DSTV. I don't know why they even think we watch that channel. I mean, have you ever been in a conversation where someone said, ah, yesterday I slept late because I was binging on... That channel is even known for popping up when you've been disconnected. Watching it is just negative energy. Then ShopRite. Oh, man. I, I applaud these guys for the long they've been a part of our lives. 21 years is no joke. <laughs> but, but also them, every year they should have been giving the certificate of employee of the year to game. <laughs> because game, due to electronics, I mean, it used to easily attract people to come in. They walk through, see the prices of uh, TVs, washing machines. They do these ones, get out, go to ShopRite, buy your gut, go home. The relationship between game and ShopRite Rugogo is similar to that of uh, where the pretty girl is in charge of attracting drinks for her humble-looking friends. 21 years of all the companies leaving, they're the ones that I wish still made it. I mean, I wish they had, they had at least asked other companies how they're doing it, you know? Ask, like, yeah, Woolworths. Ask how they're doing it. Not even witchcraft can explain why Woolworths is lately expanding. I don't know how they afloat. Because, I mean, is, is display profitable? I mean, there's nothing like visible traffic. Uh, they, Woolworths can't be breaking even, even if they were charging entrance. Now, ShopRite has left us to go and start new relationships. And you know how hard that is. Going back to, hey, what's your favorite color? I mean, the other day I went to carry for the fridge had octopus. ShopRite, you're going back to a country where there's looting. How bad are we? Then game stores. I can't even explain that. Perfect location, perfect prices. Hey. Anyway, even Nyanzi. He was from Noop, Bobby Wine's brother. 
It's very hard to understand what went wrong because we both. What else did you need us to do? Tip, I guess we just have to hold on to the memories. That's the place where we used to bring our fresh in the country relatives. Uh, now where are we going to take them? Mega. Also Black Friday, I would be excited to come and carry home electronics. We fight the whole day just to go home with different flavors of soda. <laughs> I'm really sad for the people that are going to lose their jobs. I'm sad for the suppliers that are going to lose their gigs. I'm even sadder for there must be companies in Uganda who are just still in business because they have nowhere to go. UTL.